In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a big head effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe After Effects and I've got this footage of me in front of camera. I'm not really doing much, but we're going to take my head. We're going to roto that out and then make that bigger to create this bubble head or big head effect. So. In order to do that, we're first just going to make a copy of this footage. So we'll go Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V. We'll turn off the bottom layer and just focus on this top layer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the scale of this. So I'll press S, increase the scale, and I'm just going to work on this bit here. So I'm going to go into the Roto Brush icon at the top. So the Roto Brush tool, double click that area. So we'll double click the footage. And then we we'll just zoom in on the footage and we'll go back to the very beginning of our video. So as you can see, if we scroll through here, you can see this is the area that we want to work on. So we're just going to make sure that we're at the very beginning of our composition. Make sure this brush is green and then we're just going to paint inside the face here. So like this. And that's done a decent job at isolating the face, but it's still missed out a few areas. So we're just going to take this bit here. We'll get rid of this bit here by holding option. We'll add this bit in over here, add the hair up here. There you go. You can see it's taken part of the background. So we'll hold option, get rid of that bit. And once you're happy with the look of that, we're just going to press space on the keyboard to play that out. And After Effects is just going to render that frame by frame, as you can see. Now, After Effects is doing a great job in my example. It's keeping this mask around the face. But if for any reason it adds in any part of the background that shouldn't be there or cuts off part of the face, then just stop, press space, and just go ahead and make that amendment. Feel free to go back a few frames and make that amendment as well. But as you can see in my example, After Effects is doing a great job at keeping this mask around my face. And there you go. Playing this back, you can see we've got this really awesome mask around our face. Now, I must say it really helps here if you've got contrast in the frame. So I'm quite surprised it's done this quite well because there's a bright background and I'm quite bright here in the frame as well. So I'm surprised it's done it as well. But normally, if you had a darker background and your subject is lit really well, then that contrast there will create a really easy job in the rotor. But it's done a great job here. So we'll just go back to the composition layer. And as you can see, my head is now isolated in its own layer. So if I just turn on the original footage, we can increase that scale again and we can move the position of this on top of my head like so. So we'll play this back and you can see we've got this big head effect, which does look hilarious. Now, we just want to make sure that the anchor point is in the middle of the face or somewhere near the bottom of the face. So we're just going to press A on the keyboard to load the anchor point and we'll just drag that down so that it now sits on the bottom of the face or so somewhere around here. As you can see, this is the anchor point. Then once you've done that, you can just move that back up on top of the face. We'll play this back. And as you can see, that looks great. Now, of course, you can make this head as large as you want because this is in its own layer. You can make this as large as you want. You can make this somewhat, somewhat larger, but not comically large. So like this, that looks quite funny, to be honest. Actually, quite terrifying, if I'm honest. Or alternatively, you can actually make the head smaller so we can decrease the scale. But in order to do that, you have to make sure that you've got a clean plate and the clean plate would basically just be the empty frame without me in frame. You'd mask out my face and then place this on the neck and you'd have a small head effect. But I don't have the clean plate, so I can't do that in this example. I will show you briefly what it looks like. So we'll turn off the big head. We'll create a mask around the top of that frame. So somewhere like this. We'll go into that mask inverted and when we turn the big head layer back on you can see we can just drop this into place and that's how that would look the thing is though i don't have that clean plate so i'm losing this background unfortunately but if you had that clean plate you just drop the clean plate underneath and you have this slightly terrifying effect now the great news is because this is in its own layer what you can do is you can animate this so if you wanted to start with a normal size head so somewhere around 100 105 so we'll start here with a normal size head. You can actually animate the scale and the position over time. So you can go new keyframe position scale. We'll go four or five keyframes to the right and we'll pull that all the way up to 150. And then we'll move another few frames over and pull that down to 130. 
Now, when we play this back, you can see that bounces up and we go from normal size head to big head. It's quite a comical effect. And of course, you can always turn the motion blur on like this. And it might take a moment just to re-render that roto brush out with that motion blur. But once it's done that, you can see we've got this really awesome big head animation now in our video. Now, this is one of those effects which is really comical and chances are you're probably not going to use this on pretty much any edit or most of your edits. I'd be surprised if you were doing a corporate edit and you decided to throw this effect in, but it's a great technique nevertheless. And it is really comical if you wanted to create a music video or a fun video in this particular style. But there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.